So now let's talk about Markov models. And my apologies if you already know what Markov models are, because we're going to go through this a little bit. Then we'll get to HMMs, and maybe that'll be new for you. And if it's not, you can just uh, write in a postcard telling me that you're unhappy. Send it to Megan. All right, we're going to pretend for the moment that weather, as in the weather outside, is a Markov model. And if it were, uh, we're also going to pretend that there's only three types of weather you could have. You could have a sunny day, a rainy day, or a snowy day. It's kind of like a little kid's book. Right? And a Markov model says that we have to specify for any given one of these, what's the likely next day going to be? So for example, suppose I tell you that if it's sunny today, there's an 80% chance that it'll be sunny tomorrow. 15 that it'll be rainy, 5% that it'll be snowy. Likewise, if it's rainy, I may tell you, well, there's a 60% chance that it'll rain tomorrow if it's raining today. There's only a 2% chance that it'll be snowy, so it's a place that gets very cold. So, so once it's rainy, when it's raining, it's not going to snow and vice versa, maybe. Uh, and 38% it'll be sunny. And likewise, uh, if it's snowing, uh, there's a 20% chance that it'll keep snowing, 75% chance it'll be sunny. And for the same reason before, very unlikely that it'll rain. This is referred to as a Markovian system, and in particular, if the only thing you need to know to make a prediction about what the weather tomorrow will be is what the weather today is, that's referred to as a first order Markovian system. So I don't look at today and yesterday and the day before. I'm just looking at today in order to make a prediction about tomorrow. If I was looking at today and yesterday, that would be a second order Markovian. All right. So the probability of moving, of being in a particular state, of getting to a state depends only on the state I'm currently in. In order to specify our Markovian model, we need a couple of things, right? So we need a set of states, and these are labeled here as S1 to, through Sn. And those, the S's, those are, there's state one, state two, state, that's not a particular time or a particular day, there's three different states. So in this example, N would be three. We also need transition probabilities, and that's written as Aij. So that is the probability that if you're in some state i, that the next time you would be in state j. And then finally, to kick things off, we need an initial distribution. That's just the probability that q1, and I'm going to talk about q a little bit more in a minute, that q1 is equal to si. So q sub t is whatever state I'm at at time t. So q sub 1 is the, time, is the state at uh, the first day, or time 1. So for this particular example, as I showed you here, you've got three states, sunny, rainy, and snowy. We've got these state transition probabilities. So this matrix A, that's the encoding of all of these links, of all of these transition values. And then I have an initial distribution which just says, well, to start off with, maybe 70% chance that it's sunny, 25% chance that it's rainy, and if my math is right, 5% chance that it starts out as being snowy. So Given this Markovian model, you can ask certain questions. For example, you could say, if I give you this series, so that's sunny, rainy, 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 snowy, snowy, you could say, what's the probability of getting that series? Okay. Well, you have all the information you need. In fact, it's written down here below. I've got a and pi, right? It's just the probability that I start out sunny, that's here, times the probability that it becomes rainy given that it's sunny, so that would be here, times the probability of rainy given rainy, which is there, all the way through. I just have to chain it through, right? And when I multiply all those numbers together, 0 0.7 times 0 0.15 times 0 0.7, blah, 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 I get some number, 0 0.00015512, okay? They tend to be small numbers, by the way, of probabilities in HMMs or in, in Markov models, because whenever I multiply a lot of numbers that are probabilities together, since all numbers that are probabilities are less than or equal to one, when I multiply a lot of them, I get small numbers. And when you implement these things, you sometimes have to be careful and do things like take the log. Uh, but that's all I'm going to say about that. All right. So that's a Markov model. 